How's it going everybody? I'm Patrick Sadik. Welcome to Kona, a new indie survival game that I've been looking forward to for for months, man. I'm, I'm really excited about this. It's kind of like the long dark, but super nice looking. But I hope you guys are all having a great day. Do let me know how your guys' day is going. You guys might notice I'm not wearing the beanie today, but uh, rocking the no beanie look for no reason at all. Besides, I didn't want to wear a beanie. But anyway, let's jump into some Kona. I do hope you guys are having a great day, though. Uh, here we go. I'm excited for this, man. I've been so hyped for this game. I, I really like survival games. Survival games of all kinds and nature have so much great potential and stuff like Ark and Long Dark and stuff. And now we have Kona. Oh, I'm super excited. We're driving a car! And I got a little heat signature. Northern Quebec, October 1970. We're in the 70s, guys! Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. Okay. to say that ever since he returned from Korea, uh, um, after having served with train. armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. Or P.I. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home what? about. Smoking. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. Why did you do that? But that's how it had always been. What? The client pays, Carl gets it done. Okay, one thing, get out and freaking smack that cigarette down. You just threw it out in the middle of the friggin' forest, dude. Step out. I can step Carl's out. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Okay. I see. I see. Okay, well, fine. We won't do that then. We'll just be at the... Oh, set up to meet at the general what? store. His clients what? Business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. All over it, huh? How fast am I going? I'm going like 40 miles an hour. What's the speed limit here? Okay, this is really freaking cool, man. Okay, so we're driving a car right now. That's something we can't do in most games. Most games have really bad, not bad, have hard time when utilizing. The bad, muddy, or snowed in. It was customary Slow. around these parts to close them off. What? But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. The rest stop. Cool. This is so freaking cool, man. Okay, hello. Let me pick you up. Screw it. Ooh, we got an empty bottle. We just kicked that freaking can open. Ooh, we can look at stuff. Hey, look at my truck. All right, nifty biscuit. Oh, hello. Again, if you open your eyes, I will freak the hell out. Just say, oh, we got a fancy flashlight. This is a beautiful game, man. Look at how freaking gorgeous it is. What's up at the tower? I kind of want to figure out. Hello, you know, that's a beautiful flag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look, we have shoes. Do we have a menu? Nope. Tab opens up that. Hello. Um. Oh, bolt cutters. What is that? Fire starters. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north. Okay. Which helped to reestablish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's Ooh. boundaries. We got a red flyer. Manaston, it will be good. Nifty. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, everything's in a different language. Northern Quebec and its inexhaust in inexhaustible resources. The province of Quebec sits on an inexhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Our valuable minerals could travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. Get involved and invest now. Okay, so it just seems like a flyer. It is a flyer, but I mean, like, silly flyer. Okay, well, let's go cut the chain. Let's, you know, as a PI, we're breaking laws, which kind of bad Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier why was it needed here in the back of oh. beyond that would however be a mystery for another day Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it okay okay Still well not a soul in sight there was no point in waiting any longer Carl had to figure this one out by himself and break the law Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store it was okay. time for him to get down to business. Don't worry about it. I can drive cars Hamilton good. Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist. This is a really cool story told game, man. Economy. 
like in this. An aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. Wow! But the last straw was like the reopening GTA. of a mine, which gave rise to a wave mine. of protests and threats from the Cree people. Uh-oh. What is that? Is that a bunch of trash? In these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton. Okay. In one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target. But soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Radio went weird. Maybe we've lost reception? This is a very interesting game so far. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, son of a bitch! What the fuck? Um, that kind of sucked. We were going up a hill, they were going down a hill. Obviously, there's blind spot. A few hours later? A few hours later? Are they okay? Are we okay? Oh gosh, our health is low. What? Hold the pain required urgent care. When did this blizzard come on? What the fuck? Alright, hold up. Okay, so we've got... We're getting cold, I guess. Is that That's what that Kona... That is a crazy intro! Holy biscuits! Okay. Well, can we turn the car off? Carl's in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before continuing any further. Okay. Uh, what does this do? Deposit? Withdraw? Fire starter. Okay, where the hell are we gonna go? I wanna check. Oh, the bridge landed on the car. Are they okay? The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. It okay. was a small locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Okay, who's this picture of? Don't know. Such oh. wrenching Nordic poetry that was. Uh, Isabel. Carl didn't care oh. much about flowery language. Isabel, you gave meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Okay, interesting. Okay, this well. deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage. Or a farm by the roadside. There was a farm over here or something. There we are. South Antipec. Antipec. Antimapec. I don't know. Oh my god. This guy. Oh god. My screen is getting all stuff. Hello? Can I take refuge here? Oh. Convenient. Scratches did not stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. <laughs> yeah. Screw scratches and stuff, man. Oh, stove. Okay, how do we get this going? How do we how do we get that? How do we how do we open how do we, start fire? We need we need wood. Where are we gonna get wood from? Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Well hopefully not long if I could find friggin' wood. I need wood to start this fire, but where's the friggin' wood, man? Oh my gosh. This wood? One log. Okay, when under stress, Carl is less accurate and runs shorter distances. That makes sense. I would do the same. Shaboops! Fire starter. Oh, baby. Alright. This is cool. I didn't know it was all story told. I don't like spoiling games for myself when I look into them. But this is crazy cool. Alright, nice and warm now. Nifty biscuits. Okay. Well, that's a bad blizzard, yeah? Yeah, I would, I would think so. Okay, I've got... There's my inventory. Okay, my health is half. My awareness, I'm guessing that's what that is. Consumables. Do I have a locked iron box? No, that's going to make it worse. Uh, journal, equipment, document... Not documents. Inventory. Fire start a pincher, empty bottle, matches, Polaroid from chains. Ah, that sucks. I don't like have anything that could help me really. Oh wait, that's health pack. Rations. Can I not eat that? It's 
It's rations. Why can't I eat that? Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna complain about it. How long will that last? So many questions. Some, some, so little answers. So, do we have a map? Oh, we do have a map! Holy crap, where the heck are we? Hold on, let's, let's do this map in, in here where we're nice and warm and toasty. Okay, so... I want to say we're at Lake Antipac. But, I see health and stuff. Oh, we're at the very bottom. It says where we're at. We're at Maniston Sud. So we need to get way up there. Are you kidding? Whoa. Whoa. So that's nifty. It zooms. So that's the rest stop. That's where we are right there. Does it show us actual real time? If I turn around. It does. Look at that. That's pretty nifty. So I want to get to the general store, but that is a long trek. That is a very very long trek to make okay well let's try it man I don't know how far we'll make it but hopefully we don't die this is probably Patrick's stupid mistake of the day okay so we, we really can't walk very far how far is this showing oh my goodness what the heck I can't even walk there's an invisible wall oh god that's not good Okay, well, seems I have to walk back. Okay, there's gotta be something I'm missing. How cold are we? Not that cold. I, we need to get health. That's the main thing. Do we have equipment? Map, journal, flashlight, camera. Okay, that's that's it. We don't have anything. Chains, fire star, I got two of those. Pincher, empty bottle. A polar from log. Yeah, we don't have anything. What the heck are we supposed to do? Should warm up his body before going in and heal his wounds. How are we supposed to heal our wounds, bro? Back of the car, maybe. Aha! Okay. I was like, there has to be something I'm missing. Okay, so... Where'd that go? Where'd that medical supplies go? Inventory documents. Consumables, maybe? Yeah, yeah first aid. There we go, baby. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that away. The car is stuck, it will not move without help. Okay. Wait, what? Lay chains! Something we conveniently found. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think of that. My brain is going up though, I'm thinking. Oh snap. Are we are we safe? If, oh gosh, don't hit the dude's car, don't hit the dude's car, don't hit the dude's car. Okay, look at that, dude. We're getting it. Dude, we're getting it. I was gonna be stupid and just freaking walk it. Yeah, Patrick. Yeah, that would that would have been a stupid idea of the day, but now we're fine. We're in a car, which is fantastic. I'm I'm happy. I like it. Oh gosh, we're going a little too fast, please. It's blizzard. We can't see if another car is coming. Maybe we should take it slow. Put your headlights on. You know, maybe not driving a blizzard. I will say, we just got back from PAX East not too long ago, and there was a big blizzard that was supposed to hit Boston. I hope, one, it's passed, and two, for those of you guys that are on the East Coast, that you guys are safe, because, holy gosh, it gets freaking cold over there, man. Okay, we're at Manch Manistan Region. Two acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting caribou. snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan Region was Manistan. a tourist hub. Sure. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining oh. industry. Okay. Nifty biscuits. Oh gosh, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. I'm all over the place. Okay, well, yeah, this is... One! Really freaking fun. There's houses I'm passing. Whoa. The truck was running on fumes. Was I? The general store was close by. Oh crap. My gas is empty. What the heck? What the heck? I got a spinny ball of death. There we go. I think it was loading the map in or something. Oh crap. Lake Antipec. Regional General Store. Nice. Yeah, our gas is empty. Oh, but luckily, 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 gas station. Oh, yeah. Empty. The General Store. Why don't you turn your car off? That would probably help unlock. Something fell to the bottom of the box. 
Okay. I like how the narrator tells me- Oh my god, what? Oh my god, that's- Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But I only love the sarcasm. a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. How do we... Oh. Gotta film it, man. That's so cool, the wibbly bob. Key picture. Take it like a Polaroid picture, my friend. Okay, so, I'm sorry. Carl felt a chill down his spine oh. and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? That's what I'm worried about. How am I going to get paid? Torn envelope. Mr. John Von Montreal. Uh, Ontario, Ottawa. Okay. Interesting. Okay, the music's getting a little annoying. Hey, it's a soda pop, dude. This is a really cute little convenience store. Not in the mood to drink maple syrup. Are you sure? Knuckles would greatly disagree with you. Mysterious, unbranded cans. Fragile. What's so fragile about everything? Interesting. Oh, Kona Cola. I like it. Son of a... An what? explosion suddenly occurred outside. Um. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Note Carl from Gillies. Carl knew that Gilles was in charge of the Lachance. general store. Okay. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very okay. angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Okay, so the note says, You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry, I will have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I will have to close down the shop unless you would like to come fill in for me. I wouldn't dare advise you. After all, you must know how it's done since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Gillis. Gillis. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. The phone, I'm sure, is dead. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Hey, all ten cents. Okay, what the heck? There's a lot of documents here. I, I want to go investigate whatever exploded. Because that's kind of important. Oh. Electricity turned off. The garage, turn it off, turn it on. Electricity from generator. Okay. Oh shit, there's wolves! Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? No, unless... I don't know. What is that? Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? Don't know what the heck that, that is. That was a first. But that looks really friggin' cool. Okay, so... There's a lot of stuff here that we don't really know what's going on! Uh, one, I like it. It's strange. It's cool. It's awesome. Uh... Can I... Can I help you, generator? Just saying? There's a starter, or a, you know, a, f a fire thing, bopper. Unlock. I don't have the key. This is the garage, obviously. Okay, I still don't know why I left my car on. That just seems like a really bad idea. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottle. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. I love this. This is so much fun. I will say, I love the narrator. At first, it was a little strange. I didn't know how serious... Oh, I'm walking over on Mr. James Hamilton. I'm sorry. This place is a mess. Yeah, you can say that again. At first, I thought the, the narrator was a little annoying. But now, it's actually really nice to have him actually narrate everything that I do. 
Sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but honestly, I'm not. Oh, I got a freaking flashlight, dude. Why don't you pull that out? It is in the dark. It is recommended to use a flashlight or lantern. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Okay, so what does this the say? The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Ah, okay. So let's have that off. Turn that off. So... Electricity from generator. Generator, I'm guessing, is this. Can, why can't I turn on? You are the generator! So why don't I have electricity at all? That's what I'm wondering. Okay... From power lines. So something happened to the power lines. God, I'm like a terrible private investigator. Just saying. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. I would agree. Ah, I see. So... The transformer had gone up in flames, snapping that wire in the process. That sucks. Carl figured he would have to wait for an electrician to ride a unicorn through the wilderness to come and repair it. Come and repair it. Okay, well, now we know what happened. So I thought somebody sabotaged it. But no, wasn't a sabotage. Just a plain bad luck of the storm, I'm guessing. So why doesn't it go off the gen? Why doesn't the gen work? Do I need to fix it like Dead by Daylight? This, that, fix it. I don't know. I have no idea. It's very strange. Very, very strange. Outhouse! Let's go. What the heck? Hold on. I have to check. Is there a key in here? No, there's no. Okay, let's follow. What could happen? Eastern Antifax. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets. And he didn't like to miss out. I wouldn't want to miss out. I mean, whoa, what? Are those deer tracks? Okay, now I see multiple. Okay, this this is probably gonna get real bad here real quick. Uh, what the shit? Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams. A cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. Oh. He was being attacked by wolves when he ran away. But there's a book. To all okay. appearances, this was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. Mysterious journal. The beasts enjoy long slumbers. His sanctum seems impregnable. Ice is everywhere. I need to exercise patience and wait for it to come out. I th to think like a hunter. The beast often inv invades the settlements bordering, bordering the lake. It terrorizes the white people. They s never see it coming, but they feel its presence. A cold dread grabbing at your innards. The beast excites the wolves, make th makes them more aggressive. One attacked me, I had to cut its throat. The blade digging into its flesh made the sound of a taut wire. The beast is getting closer to the villagers and moves at night, bringing heavy snow and strong gusts of wind along with it. I tracked it with to no avail. I do not know the white man froze in ice, but I do know this. It is the work of the beast. Its attack curdled, curdled the blood of its victims. White men know nothing of this force of nature. I touched the ice imprisoning the white man. I saw things, but I do not understand them. Very, very cool. What the hell? Hello. What could A these necklace. engraved numbers mean? Seven, three, nine. A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. Coral. I don't know why I'm just now making that. 
reference. This is mad cool! Okay. So I'm going backwards in time. It seems... maybe? Is that my truck? Hold up, is that my truck? Carl had that feeling you get when you immerse your frozen it's hands in the hot water. Dude. What happened? Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. Jill Lachance, the general store's manager himself. This is so cool! Ah, oh. ah, oh. I'm loving this. Okay, so one, paranormal creepy stuff. Two, indie survival game. Three, amazing voice actors. What more could you want from this? Like, honestly, this. Oh, I'm I'm super hyped to get more into this, guys. Holy crap! I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm gonna cut it here, though. I know, I know, a lot of people are like Patrick now more. So I'll be, I'll definitely be playing more if, of course, you guys want to see more. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments, though. Um, my god, I am, I am completely hooked to this. I want to play more. I might actually record more of this after. But anyway, I love you guys' faces. Do let me know what you guys are thinking about this, though, down in the comments. Have a great freaking day. You guys are amazing. And I will see you guys all next time for some Kona. See you guys then!